just got out to the bus um, brought some stuff with me including something I'll show you here in just a minute that you've already seen but it wasn't out here got my reflectix a little bit of wire in that bag my tool kit and I am hooked up to power probably hear it by now I <laughs> brought the air conditioner out too hot to be working without it. it says 85 but I just brought it in here so it's hotter than that because I'm sweating and yes I know duct tape but hey it works today's goal is to try to rip up the carpet it is stapled down every, it looks like every three inches. Here, here, no, not there. Here, 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 here. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and pull that up today. I'm gonna pull it all out. I'm gonna leave it on these just so I'm not banging my toes into bare wood. Take it off. Actually, I'm going to leave it on the wheel well here. Take it off this one. Because this is where the fridge is going. Tank's going right where it's at. Moving that outlet. This is going to be the kitchen. Built up around the tank. The water pump will go there. Heater, water heater will also go somewhere around here. It can't go there because that's the fuel. So I might put the water heater here, build a little thing, and then put the fridge on top of it up here. That makes more sense, because I cannot put the water heater here. So, yeah. First, got to get the trash out of here. Working on it makes trash. Bringing stuff out here makes trash. And I guess it would help if I'd shut the door. Eighty-four. And it's blowing cold air. Alright, I'll have more soon. Alright, I didn't get much done. And the first thing I show is a box. I cut the box open and then cut one of the ends off so I could make a pattern for these small windows. They're exactly the same size, thank goodness. And I've been doing a little bit of insulating on the windows. I'm not going to be able to do any more today because well, I started to pull up the carpet. And I have extremely bad asthma when it comes to dust and chemicals. And yeah, it set it off and I spent 15 minutes just trying to breathe right, even with my inhaler. So I stopped that immediately when the bus aired out. I mean, it, it was a big cloud of dust. Bus aired out, I turned the air conditioner back on. It's back up to 85 because it's like 95 outside. And got to work on the insulating I'm going to get one of those window things. It's not going to be uh, Reflectix, but the regular window things for an E350. Yeah. I can't do those windows while I'm driving or those. But everything back is going to have Reflectix in it except these, this hole. And I'm too close again. I have the worst habit of that. This whole door getting permanently sealed and walled off and very well insulated. As you can tell down in the bottom, it goes right outside. That whole thing will be closed off permanently. That's where the shower is going, right here at the edge of the bed. Here, there'll be a wall. 
shower right here, 32 inch by 32 inch. And then right here is where the toilet's going in the corner. And I'm insulating all these walls with very thick insulation. Tearing this out, remounting the speakers somewhere. Tearing this out because it's going to cost far too much to fix it. I wish I could, but I don't, I don't have $2,500. So, it's got to go, and that will be the only air conditioner. And this will get moved right over, actually, probably somewhere up there. Because this is where the stove is going to be kind of dumb. Be going off constantly. That, we had to cut out to get that uh, thing that was here, the big orange I'm not even sure what that was. It had a bunch of good drawers in it, though. Uh, the back door, I need to get another piece of glass. This one's cracked, even though you can't feel it. <laughs> and I need to get these re-keyed. I don't have a key to them. I'm going to put Reflectix on every one of those. The good thing is, is these windows have a little pocket all the way around. All of them do. Every single one of them. So I cut the Reflectix half an inch bigger. It goes up in there a quarter of an inch. Oops, you can't even see what I'm doing. It goes up in there a quarter of an inch, in there a quarter of an inch, and down there a quarter of an inch. All the way around. All of them. And they just stick right in there. The only part that doesn't have a lip is underneath right here. And that's fine. But that's it for today. Oh, no it's not. I mounted the four-way 12 volt here where I said I was going to and I mounted the one up here where I said I was going to and the hoods up because I'm topping off the engine batteries these batteries right here are completely full 12.8 volts just sitting there and this video is getting long so I'm gonna stop it Thank you for watching.